consolidating artifact and designing a dependency management strategy. Hello everyone, I'm Intel, Microsoft MVP. Package dependency. What is dependency management? Modern software development involves complex projects and solutions. Projects have a dependencies on other projects and solutions are not single piece of the software. The solution and software build consists of multiple parts of components and are often reused. As scope based are expanding and evolving it needs to be componentized To be maintainable, a team that is writing software will not write every piece of code by itself, but leverage existing code written by other teams or companies and open source code that is readily available. Each component can have its own maintenance, speed of change, and distribution. Give both creators and consumers of the component autonomy. A software engineer will need to identify the components that made up part of the solution and decide whether to write the implementation or include an existing component. The latest approach introduces a dependency on other components. Elements of Dependency management strategy. There are a number of aspects for a dependency management strategy. Standardization. Managing dependency benefits from a standardized way of declaring and resolving them in your code base. Standardization allows a repeatable, predictable process and usage that can be automated as well. Package format and source. The distribution of dependency can be performed by a packaging method suitable for the type of dependency in your solution. Each dependency is packaged using its applicable format and stored in a centralized source. Your dependency management strategy should include the selection of package format and com corresponding sources where, where to store and retrieve package. Versioning, just like your own code and component, the dependency in your solution usually evolve over time. While your code base grows and changes, you need to take into account the changes in your dependency as well. This requires a versioning mechanism for the dependency so you can be selective of the particular version of a dependency you want to use. Source and package componentization. Current development practice already have the notion of componentization. There are two ways of componentization commonly used. First, source componentization. The first way of componentization is focused on source code. It refers to splitting up the source code in the code base in separate parts and organizing it around the identified components. It works as long as the source code is not sh shared outside the project. Once the components need to be shared, it requires distributing the source code or the produce binary artifacts that are created from it. Package componentization. The second way use package distributing of software components is performed by means of package as a formal way of wrapping and handling the components. A shift to a package as characteristic Needed for proper dependency management like taking 
and versioning of package in your solution. Scanning your code base for dependency. There are a number of ways to identify the dependency in your code base. This includes scanning your code for pattern and reuse as well as analyzing how solution is composed of individual modules and components. First, duplicate code. When certain piece of code appear in several in several places, it is a good indication that this code can be reused. Keep in mind that code duplication is not necessarily a bad practice. However, if the code can be made available in a properly usable way, it does have benefit over copying code and have managed it that. The first step to isolate these pieces of a duplicate code is to standardize them in the code base and componentize them in the appropriate way for the type of code. High cohesion and low clapping. A second approach is to find the code that might define a component in your solution. Your, you will look a form code element that have a high cohesion to each other and low clapping with other parts of code. This could be a certain object model with business logic or code that, re that is related because of its responsibility, such as a set of a helper or utility code or perhaps a basic for other code to be built upon. Individual life cycle Related to the high cohesion, you can look for part of the code that has similar lifestyle, life cycle, and to be and can be deployed and released individually. If such code can be maintained by a team separate from the code base that is currently in, it is an indication that it could be a component outside the solution. Stable bug. Some part of the, your code base might have a slow rate of change. The particular code is stable and is not auto open. You can check your code re repository to find the code with a low change frequency. Independent code and component. Whenever code and components are independent and unrelated to other parts of the system, it can potentially be isolated to a separate component and dependency. You can use a variety of tools to assist you in scanning and examining your code base. This range from tools that can that scan for duplicate code, draw a solution dependency graph, to tools that can compute metric for graphing and cohesion. Package management. Package. A package is a formalized way of creating a distributed unit of software artifact that can be consumed from another software solution. The package describes the content it contains and usually provide additional metadata, the additional information uniquely identify the individual package and to be self-descriptive. It helps to better store package in centralized location and consume the contents of the package in a predictable manner. In addition, it enables tooling to manage the package in the software solution. Type of packages. Packages can be used for a variety of components. The type of components you want to use in your code base differ for the different part and layers of the solution you are creating. They range from front end components such as JavaScript code file to back end components like .NET SLV or Java components. Complete cell content solution or reusable file in general. Other 
years the packaging format have changed and evolved at the moment these are a couple of the factor standard format for packages NuGet, NPM, Marvel, B5 and Talkers let me explain one by one NuGet packages is a standard used for .NET code artifacts these include .NET assembly and related file tooling and sometimes only metadata NuGet define the way packages are created, stored and consumed a NuGet package is essentially and compressed folder structure with file in zip format has dot and upkg extension npm an npm package is used for javascript development it's originated from node.js development where it is default packaging format a npm package is a file or folder that contains javascript file and a package JSON file describing the metadata of the package. The Node.js the package usually contains one or more modules that can be looted once the package is consumed. By P the python package index each package has a, has a project object model file describing the metadata of okay, marvin sorry we back to marvin marvin is used for java based project each package has it has a project oriented project of Check model this file describing the metadata of the project and is the basic unit for defining a package and working with it. Py p the Python package index abbreviated as Py p and also known as the cheese shop is the official third party software repository for Python. Talkers. Docker packages are called images and contain complete and self content deployment of components. Most commonly, most commonly, a Docker image represents a software component that enables hosted and executed by itself without any dependency on other images. Docker images are layered and might be dependent on other images as their basic such image are referred to as base image package 6 packages should store in centralized place for distribution and consumption by others to take dependency on the components it contains the centralized storage for packages is most commonly called a package fix there are others named in use such as repository or registry. We will refer to all of these package fix unless it is necessary to use a specific name for clarity. Each package type has its own type of a fix. But another way, one fix typically contains one type of packages. There are new cat fix, npm fix, Marvel repository by B fix. And Docker registry. Packages offer version story of package. A certain package can exist in multiple versions in fix catering for consumption of a specific version. Private and public fix. The package fix are centralized and available for many different consumers. Depending on the package, if purpose and origin, it might generally available to a select audience. Typically, open source projects for application library and framework are, sh are shared to everyone and publicly available. 
the fix can be explored in a public and or private discrete invisibility public bits can be concealed anyone there might be a reason why you do not want your package to be available but legally this could be because contain intellectual property or does not make sense to share with other software developer components that are developed for internal use might be available only to the project team and companies that develop it in such cases you can still use packages for dependency management and choose to store the package in a private package feast private feast can only be consumed by those who allow access package feast managers if a package type has a corresponding manager that takes care of one or more of the following aspect of the package management installation and removal of local package pushing packages to remote fix consuming packages from a remote package fix searching fix for package the package manager have cross platform command line interface CLI tools to manage the local packages and feel that host the package. The, this CLI tooling is part of a local install on a development machine. Major artifact type of package supported. Previously, you learned about packaging dependency and the various packaging formats, fixed source, and package managers. Now you will learn more about package management and how to create a fix and publish package to it. During this module, NuGet and an Azure artifacts are used as an example of a package format and a particular type of package fix and source. Microsoft Azure therefore provide various features for application lifecycle management, including what item tracking, source code repository, build and release pipeline, and artifact management. This artifact management is called Azure Artifacts and was previously known as package management. It offers public and private fees for software package of various types. Azure Artifact currently supports fees that store five different types NuGet, New NPM Marvin, Universal, and Python. A single Azure Artifact can contain any com combination of such package. You can connect to the fix using the package managers and the corresponding tools for the package type. For Marvin packages, this can also be greater build too. Thank you.